Hi, my name's Steve. Welcome aboard my narrowboat home, Moorland Rose. Please join me as I take a slow boat through Britain. After a couple of days in Doncaster, it's time to move on. It is a handy mooring here close to the town and with access restricted by using the CRT key. I need to reverse out from the mooring to allow room for Moreland Rose to turn. I wouldn't want to hit that boat in front of me. Rafts of floating pennywort weed have built up in the few days that I've been on this canal. This invasive plant is fast becoming a problem on the UK's waterways. As it multiplies from the smallest speck, it is very difficult and time consuming to remove. I don't want this mass of floating penny water across the bows or around my prop. Just look at that mass of weed in front of the lock and the piles on the bank that have already been removed from the canal. The two guys here were checking the lock's hydraulics and although not Lockie's offered to work the lock for me. I'm not about to refuse that.
here we are back at Barnby Dunn and the Dutch barge that let me moor up alongside at Doncaster in my last vlog. I enjoyed my stay here last time, so I'll stop again tonight. No help with the bridge this time around, so I'll have to hold up the traffic myself. closed behind me and with a large number of vehicles on their way again I can carry on. A shame I was too busy to video the procedure but it would have felt like the height of ignorance to take my time and video it all. We are back at the junction with the Stainforth and Kidby Canal, but this time I carry straight on along the New Junction Canal. This is the last canal in the UK built for commercial traffic. Completed in 1905, it runs dead straight for its five and a half mile length. The canal crosses the River Don on this aqueduct. The impressive guillotine gates at either end are known colloquially as the Don Doors. They are there to prevent excess water from the canal spilling over the side into the river below and flooding the surrounding countryside. They are in regular use after heavy rains. You can see how arrow straight this canal is, and it is really open to the elements with the wind picking up. Our next movable bridge, and fortunately also electrically operated. And I can see the next bridge in the distance. But let's get this one closed first.
an electric lift bridge this time. It's good to have a change. Next bridge in sight. They do come in quick succession along here. This bridge seems a little busier than the last two, and the wind is picking up as well. This wind means I'm crabbing along the canal at times as it pushes moorland rows across. This is a converted Humber keel. Originally they were single-masted sailing vessels for use in the Humber estuary and in shore waters. The large structure on the side is a rotating keel or leeboard. It could be rotated into the raised position shown here to allow boats to navigate shallow waters where traditional keel boats could not go. Light is green and the locky is ready for me. But wait, there's a closed swing bridge in the centre of the lock. We've not seen that before. Lockie opens the swing bridge and calls me past.
the lock he goes back to his control tower and works me through. I would have thought that the swing bridge would have been electric as well, but apparently not. Is that another bridge I see? It is. No prizes for guessing what that is in the distance. The usual routine, barriers down to stop the cars driving into the canal and move the bridge. All I have to do is press buttons. And in the distance... Fold you, it's a fixed bridge. The only one on this canal. Is the new junction canal completed and I need to get some diesel so turn right onto the Cauldron Hebel navigation and head for Ghoul.
you may have noticed those boxes stuck on the end of tall poles. They're nest boxes for kestrels. You can see the effect of the wind on the water as the canal emerges from the shelter of the trees. The wind nearly took the GoPro off the roof here, so I decided it would be safer to stop filming and put it inside. You won't miss anything, I shall be back this way in the next vlog, so join me then. Having topped up my diesel, I tied up near Gouldox, among some much larger craft. Stay safe, see you next time.